In this video, it should be worked through question 25 on this paper. I shall work through the question in detail, including some other comments about answering questions for GCSE Mathematics and the marks awarded for this particular question. Should you like to have your own copy of this GCSE Paper 4 from 2011, along with its partner Paper 3 from 2011, and the DVDs where I go through all the questions in detail, including the marks awarded, then you can get more information from either mathtutor.biz or mathdvds.co.uk. GCSE Higher Exam from 2011, Paper 4, Question 25. Diagram not accurately drawn. So, we're told that QR is 34 centimetres. SR is 25 centimetres. PT is 23 centimetres. An angle QTS, QTS is 33 degrees. So that's the data. We're also told that TSR is a straight line. It's very important. You may think it looks like a straight line, but it might be 179.9 degrees there. It's only a straight line because you're told that it is, with PT and QS perpendicular. PT and QS perpendicular. So we're told that these are right angles. Find QT and find PQ. Now there's no room for me to do my working out. So we have here the same data. So part A, I've got to find QT. Now it may not be possible to find a value directly. If you consider this triangle here, all you know is that angle. And that's not enough to work that out. If you look at this triangle, all you know is that distance. So that's not enough to work it out. So at the start of the question, you can't find QT. But hopefully the clue was in this, you only know one thing. Wouldn't it be nice to know this? Tell the examiner what you're thinking. First, I'm going to find QS before I can find what you want. That's what you're saying to the examiner. Because in this right angle triangle, we know it's right angle because that's perpendicular, we've got two sides and we want the third side. That's Pythagoras. So, QS squared, this distance squared, is the hypotenuse squared minus the other side squared. Calculated definitely here, 34 squared minus 25 squared equals. I could put that there or there. I'll put it there, I think. So now then, QS is the square root of that. Now I'm actually going to write that because it tells the examiner I know what I'm doing. Show you working out. Square root of answer. 23.04. I'm writing these small because I'm not going to run out of space if I don't. Now, I'm not going to correct that because I need that for the next bit. So I'm actually going to use that. So I'll leave that in the window. We now know what this is. I'll write 23.4 as a shortened version. Or 23.04 would be even better. Now I can look at this triangle. So I, I'm going to tell the examiner what I'm thinking. In triangle... QTS. QTS. Make your work as easy to mark as you can by telling the examiner what you're doing. Psychologically it would help, and in practice it actually does help. So I'm telling the examiner I'm looking at the triangle QTS. In this triangle, if I'm using this angle here, that's the opposite, and that's the hypotenuse, and that's the adjacent. So I can use the 
trig ratios sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. If these are on a formula sheet, check with your teacher lecturer to see if it is. If not, you need to learn them and I suggest you write them all down as soon as you realise you need them. And then you can look to see which one you want rather than to rack your brains. That's the opposite, that's the hypotenuse, I actually need the sine. So the sine of 33 equals the opposite, which I'm going to write down as QS, which means I'm going to use that value, over QT, which is in fact what the question is. Now how do I rearrange this? Well I'm, I'm going to do it by saying I'm going to swap those two round. I don't know how you're going to describe it, or your teacher tells you to do it, but that's the way I'm going to look at it. I want to know what QT is, so I put that up there and I put that down there. Now I can go back to the calculator and appreciate that that QS is the value that's still in the window, and just do divide by the answer divided by the sine of 33. What else must I make sure? but it's in degree mode. If it's not in degree mode, this is going to go wrong. Equals. That's the full calculator answer. And it says to 3 significance, so I'll do 42.3, just fitting in there. And the units, centimetres. So that's the answer. Part A. We'll mark that before we move on. There's actually four marks there. If you get this right, you'll get all four. If you get this wrong, you'll get one or two or three, depending on what you've shown. So we'll say one there. Uh, one for using the sign formula, one for manipulating it, and then one for the answer. So there's my four marks. Now we move on to part B. Find the length of Q... A PQ, PQ, that's that there. Now at the moment, looking at that triangle, well at the beginning all I knew that was 23, but now I know that this is 42.3, or that value is still in the window of my calculator. It's not a right angle triangle, it may look as if it might be, but remember this wasn't drawn to scale, it's not an accurate drawing, so if we're not told that's a right angle, then it's likely not to be. However, we've got other formulas. These are called the simple trig ratios because they're all based on right angle triangles. And then we've got the sine rule and the cosine rule to know about. In this triangle, we've got these two sides and we could soon find this included angle by doing 90 degrees minus 33. So let's write that down to show the example of what I'm thinking. That's 57. Cool showing you working out. That's 57. Now how do you do the cosine rule? Well this is how I do it. If I want to find that side, I need to have two sides and the included angle, which I've now got. So PQ squared equals PT squared plus QT squared. And I'm going to write minus, and I should write it here, but I haven't got enough room. Open brackets, 2 multiplied by 23, multiplied by 42.3, multiplied by the cosine of the angle in between. That's how I think of it. I want this side, I need two sides, an included angle, that squared plus that squared minus 2 times that times that times the cosine of that. Now, I can use that full value because it's still in the window of the calculator. But the examiner will be quite happy if I use that answer because well, it's what I was asked to do in part A. So it doesn't matter whether you use 42.3 or the full calculator answer. So I'm going to use the full calculator answer anyway. 23 squared plus the answer that's still there 
squared minus, very important to do these brackets, open brackets, 2 times 23 times the answer that I had previously, times the cosine, making sure it's in degree mode, of 57, close brackets, equals. Didn't press the close brackets very well. Now remember that that's PQ squared. So PQ itself is the square root of that. Now if you use that value rather than the whole calculator value, once you put it to three synonym figures, I don't think you'll find there's any difference at all. So if you didn't get that, but you did get this, then you're there. I'd certainly press the buttons on the calculator another way. I do that squared plus that squared, write it down. I do that times that times that times that, write it down. I then subtract those two numbers and make sure I get that again. Three marks there. Get it right, get all three marks. Not get it right and you get one or two marks depending on what you've got there.